Appendix 4-4, the Afringon Ceremony. At all the great festivals and on solemn occasions, the Darun Ceremony is followed by the Afringon, but on other occasions the Afringon can be celebrated alone. Like the Darun Ceremony, it is performed in honor of some angel or deceased person. A tray containing wine and fruits is placed before the fire, and flowers are laid to the left of the tray. The ceremony begins with the Dibaja, spoken by the Zota, Pa, Name, Izade, Baksha, Yanda, and so on, followed by Yata Ahu Vaerio, several times repeated, if the ceremony be in honor of Hormazd, in which case the Afringon is recited both by the Zota and Raspi, the Yata Ahu Vaerio must be recited ten times, if honor of Strosh, five times, and on other occasions in proportion. Then follow Asham Bohu thrice, and the actual Afringon, see Westergaard's Zend Avesta, page 318 to 324. And the Zota concludes the consecration with the Afrin, Hama, Zor, Ham, Asho, Bed, and so on. Afterwards, the fruit is eaten and the wine drunk in the same manner as the Darun is eaten. When the person eats or drinks the consecrated objects, he recites Yasna 37.1, followed by Ashambohu thrice. After all is eaten and drunk, there are recited Asham Bahu four times, Yatha Ahu Vaerio twice, Asham Bahu once, and then Ahma'e Ra'escha Yasna 68.11. And of course, some adjustments can be made. You can use press juice. Um, in ceremony, uh, this one is not one that has milk. But you can have some sort of grain or nut broth 